Hey everybody, so um, in my uh, regular game, uh, my uh, weekly game, um, my players are starting to get into the nitty gritty of who uh, poisoned them and why they have lost their memory. So uh, I needed um, a bunch of cultists, <laughs> so I ordered these guys from Reaper. And uh, they're, they're really nice looking, I'm, I, I like them a lot. Um, there's one that's my favorite. But, um, so uh, I've been doing this uh, technique to uh, bang out, you know, armies of guys uh, really, really quickly and I've been really happy with the results. Um, so uh, I went ahead and I did a, a, a Zenithal Prime on these guys, you know, and, and did the texture of their bases and everything. Um, if you are interested in learning uh, about how I prep my minis for, um, for painting. Um, I did a whole video about that actually with these guys that, um, uh, where I, I talk about all the steps that I go through to prep the minis first before I actually start painting them. And, uh, and basically what I'm doing is I'm just creating a grayscale, you know, paint job with the airbrush and then a little bit of dry brushing. And then I'm glazing color over that using um, inks and then going in where I need to and then kind of, you know, using actual paint paint to, um, to you know, um, make the paint job better. But, uh, but I've been getting some amazing results with these. Um, more, more videos to come. So first off, um, I'm going over these guys with a uh, P3 Cosite, Cosite Flesh Wash. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, it's a, uh, it's just an ink, you know, an ink wash um, for that gets nice flesh tones. Um, <clears throat> I like it. It's one of my new favorite inks. Um, I, I personally, I, I really like P3 and uh, Vallejo, and I think I'm that's all I'm using on these guys. It's P3 and Vallejo inks for for this part. Next up, I'm going to use some Vallejo Red um, Game Ink. And uh, this wasn't quite dark enough or um, like uh, sanguine, like kind of blood red enough. So I ended up uh, uh, making this a little darker later. But the nice thing about this using this painting technique is that it's almost like using watercolors where you start out and then your colors are light, you know, and desaturated and then you go in later and then kind of darken them up, you know, and make the, make the colors more rich. But um, I wanted to see how this looked and then I ended up, you know, just mixing up a, a, a darker red later using the same, the, the P3, you know, kind of dark um, flesh tone to make a, um, a, a more brownish red, kind of like a, a deeper, uh, like more sanguine red to do this with. And, and you know, you can totally do like multiple passes of the same color until you reach like the, the right kind of like richness, you know, hue, saturation of the color doing this. So after doing one pass of the, um, this, you know, deep red that I had mixed up, um, I wasn't quite happy with it. Like I wanted it to be a little bit more brownish. So um, I ended up adding a um, Vallejo Model Air um, uh, rust red to that and then you know doing um, mixing up a, a, an even deeper you know darker red to go over again over the um, after that I'd already done a you know a, a coat of red on all of them and uh, I'm even gonna add a drop of um, black um, Vallejo game ink to that and you know this is <laughs> too dark to start with but I ended up, you know, I did, I did get the right mix, and um, in my experience, you can totally use um, game inks. You can use, you know, different inks, and you can mix them with the uh, Model Air colors. And um, I've had no problem. I, you know, the I use them interchangeably, and the Vallejo Model Air is a little bit more, you know, opaque um, than the game inks. So you sometimes. It's nice to mix to the inks because it bumps down the opacity a little bit. Um, but uh, but yeah, I use them together all the time. I, I use them interchangeably to make these glaze colors. 
so I'm just gonna keep glazing on these um, deep reds until I get the right kind of hue and richness of uh, you know blood red um, color on these guys because I feel like that's what really sells that they're you know like evil cultists that um, they uh, they keep their robes nice and uh, deep uh, blood red it just wouldn't do if their robes went into the wash and they came out and their their reds were like faded you know like they just wouldn't be like quite evil enough it would detract from their magical power but that's another thing about highlighting with red is that um when i do finally put in my highlights i want to highlight with a um just a, a completely saturated red i you know uh, i don't want to have to add any white because it, it, it'll make your reds look pink and i that's that's the thing that I, I hate about painting with red is that when you try and add any change the color at all you either end up with brown or you end up with pink so yeah i want i want my highlights to be nice and red and i want my shadows to be nice and dark you know sanguine blood red and once I finally had my reds where I wanted them, um, I uh, went over it with the uh, Vallejo Black Game Ink again. Uh, one and done. You know, great product. This stuff is really opaque. It's, you know, it's a really rich color. Um, good stuff. I remember when I was in school, I had a teacher that uh, was from Poland and she grew up in the 70s. And she talked about how it wasn't just like the Nazis that used the, um, the like red and black and, and white everywhere. It was like the, just everywhere back then, like the Soviets used it. The, it was just like this color scheme that was like everywhere, like black and red and white, you know, blood and soil and all that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just some, for some reason that stuck with me and, uh, I, I am using some concept art to kind of paint these guys, but like that kept going through my mind, like, you know, like a Soviet bloc and like Nazi like flags and stuff. Like these guys are just, you know, they're evil. They're really evil. Next, I'm just gonna add um, a little more of the Vallejo um, Model Air Rust and mix it with the black ink to um, just, uh, I'm gonna do some, some hair and then I'm gonna do the bases. And uh, it was getting about that time where I needed to um, go to, uh, to my game <laughs> and use these guys. So yeah, I mean, I, at this point, like I had to go to my game. These guys are ready to go. You know, they're, they're totally table ready, totally, you know, great, usable. Huge upgrade from what I was using before for cultists and gangers. So I use these guys in my game, you know, they work great, but, um, but now I, I want to get them up to, um, to like my, my level of, um, table, table ready, you know, where I'm like satisfied with them, how they look. Um, cause I'm like, I don't know, like I'm a kind of a perfectionist with like my minis, I guess. So first off, I'm going to use some, um, P3, uh, Midland flesh, uh, straight out of the pot. And it's just, um, you know, it's just a nice, uh, flesh tone um I, uh, I i use it out of the pot all the time to kind of like touch up um especially if i if i want to like warm up the skin tones because it's kind of like it's a warm you know um flesh color definitely not you know a cool like a, a nice um reddish kind of flesh tone this uh this girl in particular came out looking kind of dark and i wanted to touch up her um her skin tones um uh but you know like we haven't even like painted yet really we, i mean we, we've we've only done like ink washes up to this point so you know this is the first time that i'm actually like using paint paint instead of inks to just do washes so they, they look pretty good you know considering that I haven't used any actual paint yet so I'm just gonna kind of glaze on some color on her legs where the, you know, with using my Zenithal uh, highlights as a, as a roadmap of where those, um, those highlights belong and uh, just kind of like wet blend and um, touch up those, uh, those flesh tones a little bit.
This one is definitely my favorite though, so I'm just gonna give her a little bit extra TLC, but I, I love how she came out. I think she just looks cool. Next I'm gonna come in with some uh, P3 Kador Red and uh, touch up the, uh, the highlights on my red. Um, the, the inks, you know, you can get some kind of like coffee staining um, and it's definitely nice to have the, uh, the, the you know, Zenithal, like the, the roadmap to kind of work from about where those highlights belong. But um, when, when you have those kind of thin highlights on top of the models, those, the ink um, coffee staining kind of stands out a little bit and it's not quite as like bright red and saturated as I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to bump up that. Um, you know that red on the on the highlights This is what the cool kids call edge highlighting Next, I'm going to use some uh, Citadel Bulk Gun Metal to uh, put in metallic highlights on the tops of the weapons. And uh, I don't necessarily like Citadel paints. Like, the reason why I'm actually using this to do this is because it's dried out. Um, and, uh, and it kind of dry brushes a little better because it's so dried out. Um, there, I've said my piece about the, the Citadel paint pots. And I'm just going to go around and dry brush uh, metal parts, armor, you know, things like that. But I'm only going to put the uh, shiny metallic pigments in the spots where they're um, actual highlights, not on like the bottoms of the weapons. I'm going to leave that black. And to kind of age some of the parchment stuff on the minis, um, I'm going to use some uh, Vallejo Model Air Yellow Ochre and then just water it down a little bit and make a, a nice little glaze out of that and just go over the, uh, the pages of the book and things like that. And very last step, I'm going to uh, go ahead and black my bases, just the, the rims of the bases, and I'm going to leave all of the gravel texture kind of untouched until I decide what I want to do with that. And that's it. Um, that's the finished paint job. These guys are a huge, huge upgrade from the uh, pre-painted cultists that I had before and I'm gonna use them in all of my future games whenever I need evil um, devil worshippers. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.